I am only surprised. I see a lot of fear in the Chief Minister's face. I think the Chief Minister has indirectly taken BJP as the principal rival forum for 2024 elections. People of Tamil Nadu doesn't want the DMK party in power. Two years, everybody is fed up. It's very unfortunate, sir. Very unfortunate that when Amit Shah ji landed in Chennai airport, when he came outside, walked outside his car to greet our Karyakartas, the power went off in the main road. I'm only surprised I see a lot of fear in the Chief Minister's face. I think the Chief Minister has indirectly taken BJP as the principal rival forum for 2024 elections, which we welcome it. In fact, after giving answers to the Chief Minister's question, we will be asking questions to our Chief Minister tomorrow evening, stating what he has done for Tamil Nadu in the last two years. Especially, we'll be reminding him once again about the election promises the manifesto that he has brought in 2024 elections. You will see tomorrow we will answer all the questions about him and I hope and pray that he will be answering our questions that we put to him also. Even Chief Minister mentioned that the BJP's popularity across nation has been slightly reduced. So there might be even uh, post the Karnataka election law, there is a chances for parliament election uh, in advance. So what could be... Uh, I think other if I said, normally I think when somebody is in fear, he will be speaking like an astrologer. Our Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu is in total fear now. In fact, whole of Tamil Nadu wanted assembly elections to be along with parliament election. So we just don't want parliament election. If the Chief Minister believes BJP is fearing, so they will prepone parliament elections. So I would say the people of Tamil Nadu doesn't want the DMK party in power. Two years, everybody is fed up. The whole of Tamil Nadu wants assembly election to be preponed by three years so that we can get rid of this government once for all. And Tamil Nadu can see Lok Sabha and Assembly elections together in 2024 only. It is very unfortunate, sir. Very unfortunate that when Amit Shah ji landed in Chennai airport, when he came outside, walked outside his car to greet our Karyakartas, the power went off in the main road. Unfortunately, that is how the state of Tamil Nadu is in with respect to power cuts. A lot of power cuts going at different points of time. I don't want to bring down the morale of our office, especially the TNEB or the fire service or the hardworking police brothers and sisters who are here. So we don't want to bring them into this and we don't want to lower the state's reputation also. Generally, Tamil Nadu, we, know, we are known for our efficiency. Whatever it is, the state of Tamil Nadu, generally we are efficient in delivering public services. Very, very unfortunate that this has happened, especially when the Home Minister was here. We are not attacking the state government because we don't want to do politics on it. Because we believe doing politics on it will bring down the stature of our state down. So that is also the state of how... After DMK has come to power, the power situation, even you go to normal people's home, the same problem, untimely power cut that happens everywhere, untimely power cuts that happen for industry also. Now when Amit Shah ji came also, untimely power cut has happened. It is for the chief minister to talk, to look into the mirror and honestly assess whether he is properly doing his role as a chief minister, thereby giving 100% power to everybody before criticizing BJP.